Hey guys, this is Inferno Shard 1 for the win. So we have officially just gotten ourselves the biggest TV that we could possibly ever own. At the meantime, what we've normally have had is 55 inch. Well, today, this is our first time that we have gotten a 65 inch TV. And as you can tell, it is a Vizio HDR Smart 4K Ultra HD TV with Dolby Vision and HDR10. And, and to be quite frankly, this TV actually has, uh, um, instead of just like three or two HDMI ports like most TVs have, this TV has actually gotten four HDMI ports, including the AV cables that a lot of TVs are starting to not have and support anymore. So, and I got told that this is one of the best pictures, and right here, as you can see, this little blue icon right here, Editor's Choice, saying that this is one of the TVs that has gotten the awards for being a very, very good gaming piece of hardware of a TV. So, we are about to open this thing up, and we are going to find out if this TV was actually the right one. And I'm actually hoping that it was. So, I'm going to have to go and get some scissors. So, the weird part about this is, is this is actually our second Vizio TV that we have officially have ever owned. So, in order for me to get this start going, this is the best way to actually uh, break this. There we go. Now we got that one done. Now we got to get this one. Now that one's a little bit trickier. Let's get at it. Ooh. Dang, this one... <laughs> This one's actually trickier. This one won't even break. Damn, this thing is actually more harder than that one. That one was easy. Let's actually go down a little bit more. There we go. We just had to go down a little bit more. So, Let's actually get the TV unboxed. Alright, we're going to have to... Oh, shit. <laughs> that actually sounded pretty loud. My bad, guys. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, we might actually have to lay this... Yeah, we're going to have to lay this down. That's what we're going to have to do. Okay. Let's use the scissors again to get the piece out. We got that part done, then we got this part. Now for the amazing part. Now it's time to lay the TV down and let's get it hooked up. Yeah, this box is so freaking heavy. <laughs> this is like, uh, yeah. It's leaning on the couch, it's leaning on the stand. I need to find somewhere else for it. Uh, okay. We're going to have to move it up a little bit more there. All right. Now we got to figure out how to turn it down and around. See, that thing's in the road and my couch is in the road, so <laughs> this is actually a little bit strange. Oh, okay, we're getting there. Alrighty. Alright, now I think we actually got it. Yep, we actually got it perfect. Now, we got to just move it down a little bit farther so that way we have some enough room to get it out. Alrighty. Alright, here we go. Now time for the fun part. Now it's time to get the TV out. Alrighty. 
So we have officially gotten our guide on how to get the TV set up. This, yep, is how you basically put the legs in and basically also the uh, remote, how it works and all the power cords, not power cord, but uh, the HDMI cords and all that stuff that it's able to plug in and how to set it up. But we can actually do it. So that is our quick start guide. And now here are our legs. This one right here and this leg right here. Here are our legs. A little bit smaller than the other TV, but and eh, no, actually they're about the no, they're actually the same as the other TV that I have right on this stand. These are actually the same legs. They stretch out a lot more, so that way the TV's not super low. I like that. All right. And now, this is the accessories. So let's open this up. All right. Oh, shit, I didn't want to do that. So we got our power cable. So that way we can use power. And then we got our remotes, which is the exact same remote as I had with my other Visigo. The only technically reason that I got rid of the other Visigo that I had was mainly because the quality picture was really not that great when you compare it to something like the uh, Sharp TV that I have right back there. It was like not that good of a quality picture. Like, cause you were able to tell the difference between a game on it, like a like I like I tested out Uncharted One on the PS3 at 720p. It looked blurry as heck on the Vizio that I did have, and then on the Sharp, it looked crisp, in which that that was a big difference in quality. So I think that that TV did was not the right call quality, or technically wasn't the right TV for gaming, I should say. But I'm getting told that this one definitely is supposed to be. Well, we're about to find out here in just a few minutes or so. So this is the remote. As I said, it's the same remote that we had with the other TV. Looks pretty good. And then we get the batteries put in. And here are some screws. So this looks like for like the mount right here, as you can see, this looks like these are for... Or no, no, I take that back. These are actually for the legs. But we do probably get something for the mount too if we ever wanted to hook it up, which I don't have to worry about it because I'm about to get a new entertainment stand. Oh, these are in separate. All right. If I can get this thing to like open. Ah, oh well. We'll get to it here in just a minute. Now it is actually for the fun part. The TV itself. Alrighty, here is the moment of truth. Which we have got to open these. These little other spots. Alright. Yeah, these are usually pretty darn tough to get out. Especially because since I had uh, this is like the biggest TV that I have ever had. Oh, yeah. This is like so hard. Mostly just pushing out the freaking box mainly. We're going to get it. Don't, don't you guys worry. We're definitely going to get it. Yeah, yep, see, there we go. We're starting to get somewhere. Oh, these were blocking it. Ain't no wonder it wasn't coming out. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now it's starting to get a lot easier to get out. All right, I gotta push the box back. All right. Dang. Still as hard, but it's not as hard though. Okay, we're actually getting the TV itself. Oh, it's got, it's got three different sides. Okay. 
They should just come out, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're probably not going to get this baby out, to be honest with you. Oh, never mind. I'm, there we go. We're getting it. All right. We don't need that. Sorry about it being a little bit loud right now. All right. Well, let's probably just finish this one off. Push. All right. Now we gotta get the other side. And now here comes the TV. All right. Now we have the TV getting ready to come out. Here goes nothing. It's going to be a super, super darn heavy one. Yeah, you can, I can already tell how heavy it is. But it's definitely not as hard as pulling out those. <laughs> and right here is our TV. Right actually here. Oh, they got a box in it. All right, so. Hey, we should probably lay this flat just to be on the safe side. All right, I need to move that out of the way. Move this out. All right. That way we don't bust the screen. Oh, we gotta face it the other way. Oh yeah, this is the farthest that I have ever carried a TV. This is literally like the farthest that I have had to pull my hands close. I could barely even pull them that far. Yeah, like see, I could even barely pull them that far. Alrighty. Now, time to turn it around and get it laid on its back. Yeah, the way it looks like is that if I move my stuff around, I'm definitely going to have to have somebody come and help me. <laughs> but now I'm ready for the moment of truth. Okay. Here we go with nothing. Now here she comes. I should probably move it up a little bit farther. All right. All right. All right. Now to get this plastic out. All right. Now we're halfway there. in the way. Alright. Yeah, maybe we should just go to the other side. There, now we got it a lot better. Even though I just pretty much blocked the light. As a matter of fact, we're gonna put this right over here. Now we got our light back out. Alrighty. got to take the tape off the box which I have never noticed that they did that to certain TVs but 
Oh, well, eh, maybe we don't need that. Oh, man. We absolutely don't need the tape. Oh, well, crap, that just broke. I didn't even freaking pull on that piece, and it just literally snapped. Alright. Uh, yeah, we are going to need this. I'll be very, very gentle with this. So I can possibly. Yeah, maybe yeah, scissors ain't the best toys because that uh, possibly breaking the screen. All right. Now we gotta get the other side down. I guess. I guess we're just gonna have to break the box, <laughs> even though we're not gonna really use it. All right. So, as you can tell, there she is. Now we have got to get ready to put the legs on it, which I have to go get a screwdriver. I will be right back in this video. All right, now it is time to put the screws on and get the remote and the battery. Then we can find out what we're going to do, or not to find out what we're going to do, but get her turned on and see how she looks. All right, here we go. Here is the legs. Here is the empty side. Oh, it's around down there. I don't think they have an empty, an outside. Huh. Oh, right here it is. This is the side. Ah, huh. the legs are actually pretty different than the one on the other one right there. They're actually different. I'm sure we can figure this stuff out. And we have the screws. Where did we put them? Oh, there they are. Okay. Now we can get the screws out and get her hooked up. All right, there we go. All right. This is actually not bad at all. All right, so I think we got the, yeah, we got the top part. So we're going to have to move this around because we have the bot top part at the other end. Actually, now we could just leave it like that and do it on this side. You probably can see me a lot better on this side than you can on that side of the TV. Er, yeah. All right, so right there are the legs. They are actually a bit farther out of the TV than I thought they actually was. It may not even fit on this stand, to be honest with you guys might actually not but we won't know until we find out all righty so the stand goes like oh man oh okay we have to flip it up and put these in yeah this is the best way we're gonna have to do it is flip it up because these are on the side. Yeah. All right, let's... Okay, yeah, it goes in like this. Okay, we put the screws in right here at the back end of it. All right. As a matter of fact, I'm going to rearrange this so you guys can actually see what's happening. Man, this TV's actually a little bit lighter than we than I thought, but still a heavy son of a gun. Alrighty. Alright. Alright. Now we can now you guys can watch me put the screws and such in. Alright. All right, where did I put this thing? There it goes. 
other way. All right, now screw number one. Yep, this is the right screwdriver we need. the second screw. Well, this one's a very tricky one. Okay, that's definitely good. to do our second one. Where did we put it? We just set, literally set it somewhere. Our second, uh, huh, interesting. Where did I put it? Oh, right there it is in our other two screws. All right, now we got to get the this part back in. Oh, I think I just got it to the open part. <laughs> Okay, now that one is tight. Now for our last fourth screw. Yeah, this is going to be a bitch to get on this stand. This is going to be a bitch. <laughs> but it was work for the TV. All right. Now we have got her on. Okay, now we got to find out if it's going to hold on this stand. First of all, I'm going to take that tape off. And then the bottom one, too, or the top. Well, let's actually find out if it stands first. Okay, best thing that we could do is move it around, hold it to up here. Okay. Oh, yeah. We ain't going to be able to put this TV on this stand at all. Yeah. We're not going to be able to put it on until I get my new entertainment stand. Just the way it looks, it's not going to fit. It just will not fit. Yeah, we're going to have to... We'll have to make a second video when I get my new entertainment stand... And we will show this system, or this, not system, but we will show this TV off once we get our new entertainment stand tomorrow. So then I will be able to get it all put together and we will be able to get this TV hooked up. And I will make sure that I do another video of it testing it out. So just stay tuned in for the video, guys, for the part two for tomorrow. And we will do a turn on video and a test out of the quality picture on how good the systems look on it. So, yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video of our new, brand new, big TV that we have ever purchased. 
So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And make sure you send me down in the comment section down below of your thoughts if you think that this is a good TV, especially for the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X and for the newer consoles coming out. If you think that this is a smart buy, just give me your thoughts down in the comment section down below. So hit a like, comment down below, and we will catch you guys on the next video. So peace out.